Here to tell us more about this center is Laura Hagen, the Senior Director of Culinary. Laura, thanks for coming to the show and inviting us into your kitchen Thank here. you. Welcome. Welcome. You know, a lot of people uh, who haven't been to NCBA headquarters may be surprised at the sheer expanse and scope of this kitchen. Uh, tell us about the goal of the Culinary Center. Yeah, well, the goal of the Culinary Center is really to showcase beef. I mean, that is the big thing that we do here. And that can be done through food production. It can be also done on our consumer side through recipe testing and putting those recipes out for consumers to use. So showcasing beef, really, really important that we showcase new cuts, new recipes, and really just new ways to, to work with beef to not only people who work in here in the building, but outsiders and um, our guests that come inside. As I look around, I see a lot of tools and technologies, some of which are very familiar and some of which I've never seen before. Uh, tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, well, I alluded a little bit to a consumer and a commercial side. So on this side, um, kind of over here, we have a, um, a kind of plethora of consumer, uh, cons I'm sorry, commercial um, appliances that are really available for anyone to use. Mm -hmm. um, so we like to think about maybe partnering with companies who might want to utilize some of these equipments to do some um, testing or anything with something that they might be um, wanting to do on a menu or something like that. The consumer side, of course, is our testing process. And so that is creating new recipes for consumers and solely for consumers and for retail customers who potentially want to use those recipes in their uh, near the retail meat case. And you mentioned that you do create and test recipes in here. And I've been fortunate enough to be one of those testers in some meetings that you've created some, yes. some wonderful, wonderful yes. dishes. Tell us a little bit about that process. Yeah, well, the process is pretty, it's pretty simple, but it's also very complicated. So it's kind of one of those things where we get a very easy concept, something that we want to create. We, uh, we might get the directive to say, hey, let's create a bunch of really high protein recipes for breakfast. Um, something we're working on right now is actually some breakfast recipes because we want to make sure that people eat some beef for breakfast as well. Right. So the beef for breakfast recipes, those concepts come to us and then we kind of walk away and say, hmm, it'd be interesting if we did this, it'd be interesting if we did this, and kind of find some ideas that we think maybe have some legs and we can actually move those forward. Mm -hmm. We then call in some of our testers. We have four testers on staff who are all chefs. Mm -hmm. They come in, do the testing, and then as a group, really the culinary department as well as our Beef Innovations Group comes inside and they get to sample and give feedback. So if we think a um, option is viable, then we continue moving it forward through the testing process. We always test a recipe at least three times, mm -hmm. so we call it our triple tested process. Um, I can guarantee you that a lot of those will go even longer than that because we're very picky about the end result. Mm -hmm. um, but once that happens, we go into editing, we go and take a professional photo uh, photograph mm -hmm. of the recipe so that we can really sell it with that visual, yeah. and it goes on beefitswhatsfordinner.com so that they're available to consumers and states for, um, for outreach. Yeah. and for doing them at home. And you mentioned outreach and beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Yep. That's an important part of your mission, right? Because yes. it does absolutely no good to create great recipes if nobody knows where to go to find them. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of why the process is so big for us is that if a consumer does find our recipes, we want to make sure they're successful with mm -hmm. them. Um, really difficult right now, sometimes people don't know what to, what to purchase. So they walk into the meat case and they maybe pick a cut. And if they don't have guidance, it's really difficult. They might not have success. So what we are able to do is give them kind of that guide. Here, you've bought this cut, cook it this way, use these elements and these ingredients that will really help enhance it, and you've got a meal for your family, and you'll be successful in, in, your, um, in your cooking experience. So, Give us your uh, sense of uh, your vision for the future of the Culinary Center. What do you see in the future? Well, like I said, we've got a commercial and a consumer side. I'd really like to utilize both of them equally. We do a lot of food production on the commercial side, but I would like to bring some partners in to really start using some of this equipment and getting to know it better. We are able to give consumers a ton of educational information, but not as much on the food service side because we're not doing food service recipes on an ongoing basis. So utilizing this equipment and knowing what they have in the restaurants will help us provide them with inspiration and ideas beyond what we already do. And um, and I think it would be fun just in general to make to forge those relationships. And I think on the consumer side, it's really educating consumers. So if we can get some people in here to do cooking education programs mm -hmm. and that type of thing, I think that would be a lot of fun and have a big impact. Well, whenever you need an extra tester, you give me a you call, all right? You got it. You got it. Absolutely. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, thank you. If you want to find out more about the Beef Culinary Center and the entire Beef Innovations Group, just visit the website beefinnovationsgroup.com.